Hi, I'm Raven Walsh, and I'm going to be your WAD coach for Thursday, January 22nd, 2015. Today's topic is going to be about um, asking for referrals and helping expand your business by um, getting referrals from the people that you're helping. Um, I hope you have a pen handy because I'm going to try and go over a lot of material and be as quick as possible. Um, I had to go down and take some notes myself as to what it is exactly that I do in the process of asking for referrals because it's become something that's so second nature. So keep in mind that as you're developing your skills in this area that it's not like you're you know, following a checkbox system or anything like that, that you just want to incorporate some of these things that I'm talking about into your everyday conversations with the people that you're helping. So. <clears throat> the first step is that you want to be genuinely interested in the people that you're helping. And being genuinely interested means you're asking them questions, yes, about things related to AvoCare, but really about things just in general to their lives. You know, what is it that they like to do? What is it they do for a living? Do they love that? You know, how many kids do they have? Do they have a husband, a wife? You know, just what does that daily life look like for them? And be interested and listen and make a friend, okay? And in all those things, you want to show them that you care. So if they know that you care about them, then they are going to be more likely to open up their ears and listen to what it is that you have to share in the life-changing message of AdvoCare. <clears throat> so first you want to find out about them as a person and as an individual, and then you also want to you know, show them that you care for them as well. Um, if they do get on board with AdvoCare and you know they're either a customer or a distributor, you want to always provide excellent customer service because when you take great care of the people that you're helping, it makes them feel more comfortable opening up their warm market and the people in their lives. If you don't provide excellent customer service, why on earth would they refer anyone else to you? So it's kind of like if you went to um, a, a new restaurant in town, you had the best meal, wonderful service, nothing but high accolades you're going to tell a whole lot of people about it. Well, that's the same thing that you want your AdvoCare customers to be doing, is they want to love you and the service that you provide so much in addition to these great products that they want to tell everyone they know about them and they feel comfortable, you know, introducing you to their friends and family. Um, another step that you want to do is you want to respect them where they're at. So, Sometimes when you're, you know, helping people get started up, they may just want to buy a challenge at retail, for example. Well, you have to, you know, love people where they're at and what they see for themselves. You know, now for my husband and I, we've been in AdvoCare for six and a half years. We've had a whole lot of life change that has happened in that time frame. And just as a simple example, even though initially, you know, we got into AdvoCare for the business side, we were really just, you know, slow to go hobbyists for about five years years of that journey and even though we wanted more <clears throat> we at the time didn't have the desire and drive to go get it and Jesse and Bath Art sponsors you know um, really loved on us where we were helped us get great product results when we were ready to act and move they were there for us but they never pushed us in a way that um, interfered with the loyalty um, our loyalty you know with AdvoCare products and our relationship with them. They um, would stretch us and grow us in a positive way. So just know that you want to respect people where they're at and you never want to push them, you know, um, further than your relationship really allows. <clears throat> so what to do when you're actually asking for those referrals? Now I will say I don't usually use like, hey, I'm going to ask you for a referral now. Um, I don't usually use that, the, that, um, terminology when I'm talking to somebody. I, a, lot, a lot of times I'm just weaving it into the conversation that I'm having. So I like them to know how easy it is for them to refer, how little work it is for them to refer. Um, I like to find out if they have other people in their lives that are getting healthy with them. So if they're married, what is their partner doing? Do they have coworkers, you know, that are getting healthy with them? Do they have a best friend that's getting healthy with them? That's already going to generate some people for them to easily refer to you. And then I also like to talk about things like how fun it is to do as a group. So perhaps they're like, oh, no, you know, I haven't really talked to anybody else yet. I'd be like, well, 
you know, who else um, do you know that probably wants to get on board when you do? And that way you can get a group going because it's fun when you have a bunch of people doing this thing together. Um, you know, for example, with the all in challenge that we're all doing right now, it's 80,000 plus people across the country. Now there's strength in numbers. So it doesn't need to be that high of numbers, but when you help your challenger get one or two other people that are doing the challenge with them, that's going to help enhance the results. And I like to talk to them about the fact that that will help enhance the results because they have that extra accountability as well and they have that extra support in addition to the direct support that I'll be providing. Um, I, I like to make sure that who I'm working with feels at ease and there, there's no pressure. So for example, if you're having that conversation, you're talking to them about, well, who else do you know that wants to get healthy and you know who wants to have more energy like you do? And um, you know if you notice that in that conversation, maybe they're not comfortable at that point in referring anyone to you, you want to learn to back off. You know, you want to learn to judge the situation, judge the relationship that you have with that person, and then you want to just redirect the conversation and love on them for where they're at. Um, so just make sure that you're not putting any undue pressure on that relationship because that will very quickly damage the relationship, um, possibly beyond repair. <clears throat> now, another way that I ask for referrals is just in the way that I explain the four relationships with AdvoCare. So you've got the retail, the wholesale, <clears throat> member option, you've got the hobbyist option, you've got advisor. So without going into how I explain each of the four, just to give you an idea of how I explain hobbyist, that third relationship, some call it a distributor, which we all know that two and three both you know require a distributorship, but I like to describe three as hobbyists because it takes a lot of the pressure off of referring people. So for example, um, you know, I would say, so the third option is what we call a hobbyist. It's the same membership that I just described. The difference is what you do with it. So you get on these products, you're having amazing results. You're going to have a hard time not telling everybody, you know, about how great you feel, how you're, you know, going down another notch in the bell, how you had to go clothes shopping again. And so when people ask you what it is that you're doing, all you have to do is say, you know what? I found some amazing products. You have got to talk to my girlfriend, Raven, and I will do all the work for you. And you don't have to worry about being the AdvoCare expert. I mean, it'd be kind of crazy to think that you would know everything there is to know about AdvoCare. Don't worry about that. I will do all the legwork and you will get a referral bonus equal to your discount level when they purchase retail. So if you're at a 20% discount, the 24 day challenge retails at 190, you'd earn a $38 referral commission just for sending your friends and family my way and letting me help them. They're gonna get great results like you are, you're gonna get a little bit of a bonus, which is really sweet because that can actually help increase your discount level from 20 to 25 to 30 and even the top discount level of 40%. You know, and that can help like cover the cost of your products. So that gives them the idea of like, wow, so that's super easy to do. And that's the benefits to me is that I get to help my friends and family. Plus I get a little kickback for it, which is pretty sweet. You know, um, another phrase that I sometimes use is like, you know, when I'm describing that 20% of 190 is a $38 commission, I'll say things like, you know what? I don't know about you, but when I was working at the hospital, I definitely wasn't earning $38 an hour. It took me a whole lot more work to earn that $38 from my full-time job than it ever has with AdvoCare. So, you know, that's something that helps them realize the potential of what's possible. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're following up. And a few key steps that you want to do is one, you want to be following up with excitement and enthusiasm. So whatever their positive results are, you want to be celebrating them. Do they have more energy? You know, I talked to um, one of my challengers yesterday. She's down 14 pounds halfway through a challenge. That's phenomenal. I'm like, who do you know that wants to lose 14 pounds? I mean, that's so cool. You know, and she gave me the name of somebody. Um, and then something else to ask is, you know, for specific names. And if they've already given you specific names, when you were talking previously, then this is a good opportunity like, hey, have you talked to Sally? You know, was Sally interested in getting started up with you? So that's a great option too. <clears throat> I always like to ask the question like, who's the one or two people floating around in your brain right now that, you know, would want to get started up like you are? And then, um, you know, just a couple of things to, to know when you do get those referrals, you want to celebrate all referrals that you get. So when you contact your prospect's friend, 
um, then you want to make sure you're going back to that initial prospect and saying, hey, Sally went ahead and got set up with a challenge and you earned X amount of dollars. Or Sally's purchase, you know, helped bump you from the 20 to 25% plus you earned this much, you know, commission. Um, and so I always like to celebrate those things. And you want to get back to Sally as soon as possible. Because the faster that you do that and the faster that you help Sally see the results of just referring one friend and what can happen, it helps her wheels start turning more to refer you more friends and more friends and more friends. So be the person that your um, customers, your distributors feel comfortable referring you people to help that you provide the quality and the service that goes along with these amazing products that for, you know, they would have to be crazy not to refer the people in their life. So I hope that that has been a help for you guys. I know this is the year to be all in. This is going to be really exciting. 2015 is going to change everything. You guys are champions. Have a great day.